It's time to go back in time. Learn about the Diplodocus, the Velociraptor, the Ankylosaurus, and more. Let's go! The time of the dinosaurs! Dinosaurs lived on Earth for millions of years, and different dinosaurs existed at different times. Ooh, I wish I could have a dinosaur party! Why, Chester? So all the dinosaurs could have fun together! That kind of party could not. <laughs> Why not? Because dinosaurs lived at different times. The Mesozoic Era, the time that the dinosaurs roamed the Earth, is divided into three major periods. The Triassic, Jurassic, and Cretaceous periods. Dinosaurs like these Eoraptors lived in the Triassic period. Eoraptors were among the very first dinosaurs. Hmm, they don't look very big. Triassic dinosaurs were generally small. They survived for millions of years before suddenly dying out. Really? What happened to them? Scientists think an asteroid hit the Earth, or that a huge volcano erupted, causing the Earth's climate to suddenly change. Most plants and dinosaurs became extinct. So that was goodbye to the Triassic period. And hello to the Jurassic period. The next time of the dinosaurs. Whoa! They're huge! Yeah, they're called Brachiosaurus, Marco. If you were looking out from the third floor of an apartment block, a fully grown Brachiosaurus could pop its head in. Brachiosaurus was much bigger than the dinosaurs from the Triassic period. During the Jurassic period, many of the dinosaurs and the plants were bigger. This was the time of other dino giants like... Oh, Stegosaurus! And... And... A Patasaurus. These creatures were giant Jurassic herbivores. They ate lots of plants every day. Way up high. But when did the predator T-Rex live? Oh, during the next period, the Cretaceous. Along with the Triceratops. Oh, and the Velociraptor. The T-Rex is one of the largest predators to ever roam the Earth. You know, maybe we should have three dinosaur parties. One for the dinosaurs of the Triassic period, one for Jurassic period dinosaurs, and one for dinosaurs in the Cretaceous period. Three parties are better than one. Now let's test your memory. Find the items that begin with Raptor. We're going to find out about one of the first ever dinosaurs. The Eoraptor lived during the Triassic period. Nothing's here. Wait, I hear something. <gasps> dinosaurs! Willow, did you know the Triassic period had the very first dinosaurs? What kind of dinosaurs are they? Eoraptors. Eoraptors. They're not very big. They're about three feet tall. That's about the height of a two and a half year old. I want to know more about them. Let's see what we can discover. They have very short front legs, so they have to stand on their two back legs. Like humans, Eoraptors were bipedal. 
Bipedal means they use two legs to walk and run. I can also see that they ate plants. Scientists believe eel raptors had two types of teeth. One for eating plants, one for eating meat. Which would mean that eel raptors might have been... omnivores. Eel raptors hmm. existed so long ago, scientists hmm. don't know for certain. So, eel raptors were one of the first dinosaurs, they were the size of a small child, and they were bipedal, which means they walked on two legs. Hello, Mr. Eoraptor! <laughs> Find the matching numbers. Diplodocus! The Diplodocus lived during the Jurassic period. Is that a skeleton of a Diplodocus? It is, Chester. Because there are no dinosaurs around today... Fossils give us information about what dinosaurs looked like and how they live. Like how long they were. We can see that a full-grown Diplodocus was as long as three buses! That Diplodocus would make an amazing slide. But that skeleton would make for a bumpy ride. Why does it have such a long tail? Paleontologists think. Paleontologists? They're scientists who study animals that lived long, long ago. Oh, okay. Paleontologists think that without its tail, the Diplodocus wouldn't be able to balance. When dinosaur bones are found, they are dug up very carefully and the bones are put together to make a whole skeleton. Like... Dippy the Diplodocus! Now let's test your memory. Find the items. Triceratops! Triceratops lived during the Cretaceous period. Look at those horns! They're huge! That's a Triceratops, Lily. It gets its name from its horns. It has two horns on the side and one in the middle. That makes three. Oh, and tri means three. Like with tricycles, they have three wheels. I think their horns make them look like rhinos. They do look a bit similar. And, like rhinos, Triceratops were herbivores, which means they ate plants. But they're not related. In fact, a Triceratops was about twice as big as a rhino. Why did the Triceratops have such big horns if they weren't hunters? Well, those horns help protect the Triceratops from other predators. Ooh, like that T-Rex over there? Whoa! 